<laughs> look at your hand. Look at this. I mean, look at you. you have the most beautiful shade of alabaster I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, that nice. It looks terrific. Uh, here, let me show you some. I've got some impersonations for you. Check this out. Okay, we start off with 1983, Mr. Universe, huh? <clears throat> you reckon that? Mike Christian. Okay. Here we've got, uh, we've got this 84. It's the universe, come on. Oh, no, that's my parents. Come on, you don't know. Okay, this one. You know me. You know me. All right. Terminator, Commando, I'm Eric Maria Schreiber, come on, the whole thing. You recognize it? You recognize it? Oh, my God. Adam, what are you doing here? I live here. Oh, I, I thought you were on vacation. What? Oh. Into the other room. Why? You don't want me to stay in here, do you? <laughs> You're just going to leave? I'm not leaving. I thought I'd catch up on some reading. You're going to read? But, but, but look, you caught me in a compromising position with another man. So? What do you mean, so? You're supposed to yell and scream and fight for my honor. Why? Why? Because you love me. Because you're tortured by the very thought of somebody else touching me. What is wrong with you? Why aren't you in a fit of jealous rage? Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him in a fit of jealous rage! I was traveling with this guy who was an actor. He thought he could earn some money in Calcutta as a mime. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Calcutta, but picture the worst third world poverty you can imagine spinning onto the streets and some silly European guy with a painted white face mimicking people. But it was a problem because the Hindu thought he was a Sikh spy and then the Sikh thought he was a Hindu spy, so he ended up with his throat cut and his body tossed into the Ganges. So I figured it's time to go. But I didn't have any money to fly anywhere. So I had to hitch to the Middle East. And luckily, luckily, I met this really cool Arab guy who didn't try to attack me till I was practically in Egypt. Anyway, I got away from him. And I was in Cairo when they were having this really hot summer, like 2,000 degrees or something. People were doing anything to cool off. And like an idiot, I went swimming in the Nile. The next thing you know, I've got malaria, which turned into pneumonia. And then the mononucleosis. Now, I didn't even know you could have all that at the same time, but I did. Really. Then one day they tell me that I'm pregnant, you know, from the actor guy killed in India. But I was in such a mess. The baby was born dead. And I even died for five minutes. Everything stops. My heart, my lungs, all the machines I was hooked up to. I was dead. And it's funny, you know, you hear people back from the dead. They, like, talk about floating around or... Looking down at their body or some quiet, calm feeling. I didn't have any of that. For some reason, I saw myself standing in line at a hot dog stand. I'm telling myself, I'm dead. So why am I standing in line for hot dogs? But I was really hungry and the line wasn't moving. So maybe I wasn't hell. Anyway, when I came alive again, I thought, shit, what the hell have I done? I mean, in one sense, I was really pretty disgusted with myself for even bothering to come back to life. And in another, I thought, well, look at all the crap I've been through. I can survive anything. And that's when I decided to be an actress. <laughs> but there really wasn't anywhere in Europe I could go because everybody knew me there. So I decided to change my name and come to America, the new world. New York City. Now, I don't know if you've ever been there, but parts of it look just like Calcutta. So, I'm living in this closet with this guy who's calling myself my boyfriend, but I don't even want to talk about it. And I start going on auditions. 
I never had any training or anything. I just started going. <laughs> Isn't that how it is in America? You just go for it, right? Anyway, I'm giving advice to everyone. <laughs> doctor once, which, which I don't even like to do anymore. He told me I had so much salt intake, so I, I figured I'd cry more. Which really wouldn't be very hard. I even started taking an acting class once, which is okay, you know, there's other people there. You can do all these scenes with them. But in New York, they always like you to do these monologues, which I hate. I mean, I can't go on and on and on talking by myself. Forget that. Then one day, my acting teacher... He tells me that I need to use my body more. But what he really meant was that I should go to bed with him. So I just said, screw this. I'm going to Hollywood. 